star. Watch for the sign of the lollipop. With Peggy Patch. Peggy Patch is out today to find a patch to stop and play. Where will it be? Who will she meet? Has the bus stopped at the end of your street? Can you guess where Peggy stopped today? I'll give you some clues. She's somewhere where people can pass over or under it and railways, roads and rivers can also pass over or under it. Do you know where she is? Peggy's on a bridge today. It's a special kind of bridge because they've put gravel down so people can walk up and down on it. And if you look down there, can you see? There's a road going underneath. Peggy's going to have a look round. Do you want to come and have a look with her? to run along here over the bridge and off into the distance. I'll give you some clues. I'll give you another clue. Have a look over here. Can you see in the distance the railway tracks? Or trains travel over there. And a while ago, trains used to travel along here, over the bridge and off into the distance. But they've taken the tracks up now so people can go for walks. Oh, there's lots of things growing here now. Oh, see this? These are sycamore keys. When they fall off the tree and land on the ground, like that, they go down into the earth and they grow up into a little sycamore tree. So you've got the big one way up there and the baby tree down here. I wonder what all this white stuff is that's covering everything. I know, I'll have a look in my book. Oh, it's called Old Man's Beard. Because later on when it gets cold, all these flowers go fluffy like a beard. And down here, there's lots of different types of grass. Can you see this one? Looks a bit like a caterpillar, doesn't it? See, all furry. And over here, there's another one the same as that. And if you knock it, you can see the seeds coming off. You see? Oh, and this one's really good. This one's called plantain. And if you pick it out, like this, wrap it round your finger, you can shoot it. Pow! Peggy Patch has found a buddlier bush for the creature to say hello to. Say hello to this creature. A creature with antennae on its head, a rather furry body, who has beautiful fluttering wings and loves the flowers in the summertime. A butterfly. Any more butterflies, Peggy? Oh, look, there's one up there. Can you see it? Oh, and there's another one. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> butterflies weren't always butterflies. They used to be caterpillars. Shall we have a look in the ground and see if we can find one? They're usually down here, crawling around. Oh, 
Oh, there's one. Can you see it? Pulling along the plant. See if we can get him to go onto my hand. Oh, there we are. Can you see that? Where he's crawling along my finger? I think he's looking for his plant again. We better put him back. There you go. You see, what a caterpillar does is it spends its life eating and eating and eating. And provided it hasn't been eaten by a bird, it curls up into a ball and turns into a chrysalis. And when it's ready, the chrysalis turns into a moth or a butterfly. Peggy Patch knows what a butterfly looks like when it comes out of a chrysalis. Piggy Patch has a book. A book about a friend. A friend who has adventures. What happens in the end? Once there was a boy called Willy. He had lots of pets and a grown-up sister. Willy's sister was so grown up that she was getting married and Willy was going to the wedding. Shall I bring my pets to the wedding? said Willy. No, said Willy's father. No, said Willy's mother. No, said Willie's grown-up sister. Better not, old chap, said Bruce, who was going to marry Willie's sister. Your pets might not like it. So Willie did not bring his dog to the wedding. He did not bring his cat or her three kittens. He did not even bring his goldfish. He only brought his hamster, because it liked to be in his pocket, and his frog, so that it would not be lonely. Come on, cried Willie's father. Everyone is waiting at the church. It was not far. Remember to walk slowly, said Willie's father. And remember to hold up my dress, said Willie's sister. The church was full of friends and uncles and aunts. They all turned to look at the bride. I think I'll take a picture of the wedding, said Willie's uncle Fred. Suddenly, one of the aunts screamed. Look, she cried. It was not Willie's fault that his cat had followed him to the church. It was not his fault that the three kittens had followed the cat. Cats don't come to weddings, said the vicar. Willie said, I'll look after them. The vicar gave them something to sit on. Then he married Willie's sister to Bruce. Now for the wedding picture, cried Willie's Uncle Fred. Everyone stood quite still. But Uncle Fred did not stand still. It was not Willie's fault that his dog was waiting outside the church. It was not his fault that the dog was pleased to see him. How disgraceful! screamed Willie's aunt. Take your pets home! cried Willie's mother. At once! cried Willie's father. I think they'd be happier there, old chap, said Bruce. There was food and drink for everyone at home. Willie said... I'll give my pets something to eat. The hamster was hungry too. Now I will take my picture of the wedding, said Uncle Fred. But Willie's aunt screamed. A mouse, she screamed. A horrible orange mouse. It was not Willie's fault that his hamster was hungry. It was not his fault that the hamster liked cake. And it was not Willie's fault that his frog wanted a drink. Or that his aunt was frightened of frogs. Or that the cats got all upset. None of it was his fault, but everyone was cross. Take your pets away, cried his mother. Right away, cried his father. Away, 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 screamed his aunt. But what about the picture, said Willie. What about the picture of the wedding? My 
pets should be in it. After all, they did all come. No, cried Willie's mother and Willie's father. No, 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 screamed Willie's aunt. Uncle Fred set up his camera. I'd better go then, said Willie. But Bruce said, stop. Willie stopped. I don't agree at all, said Bruce. I am very fond of pets and I should love some in my wedding picture. Just a moment, said Willie. He ran to get something. Uncle Fred clicked his camera. It was a lovely wedding picture. I'm glad my goldfish wasn't left out, said Willie. Even a goldfish can enjoy a wedding. What did we see? What did we ladybird. A ladybird, that's right. Yeah. And who had it? Who had it on their hand? Me. And what did it go? Where did it go on your hand? It flew off. It, um, it, um, it just put its wings up so quickly it flew. It did, didn't it? So did we see anything else? Oh, I know, I know, I know what we haven't talked about. What? Have you seen any of these? Spiders. Spiders, yeah. Did you see any of those? Did you? Where? All the way down there. All the way down there. Come on, let's yeah, go and have a look. At the end of the park. Let's go and have a look for some spiders, then, shall we? Peggy Patch's puzzle. Peggy can see the street from the bridge. What kind of shops can she see? What did you spot? Did you see the laundrette? With the big machines inside where people wash their clothes? And there was a post office, wasn't there, with a letterbox outside where people post their letters? And there was a garage. Cars and motorbikes can fill up with petrol to make them run. And there was a general store too, wasn't there? With lots of different kinds of fruit outside. That's a funny one. I'll give you a clue. Give me a it, clue. It's something and it's got four. It's got, oh, it's four of them. Oh, so it's not just one. Oh, so, so that's one. Is that one? Yeah. I know what it is. What? I think I know what it is. Is it, is it a banana? Yeah. Yes. Ah. <laughs> right, I'll have that for later then. Right, next one. Next one, who's got the next one? Me. That's not the fruit making the noise, is it? That's the paper. Oh. It's a paper. Oh. Something red. Something red? <laughs> yeah. Is it red? It's got a white thing inside. A white thing in? A white thing inside. So it's red on the outside and, and white inside. Yeah. Right, and is it... Oh, what's that? That was a funny bit. What colour's that there? 
That's brown, is it? Um, and it's circle. And it's a circle. It's a big round ball type thing. I know what this is. It's um, it's an apple. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. I'll have that one for later as well. Okay, Hannah, you got you've all got yours in there. Let's see if that eating that now. Right. Next one. What is your Let's see us. Oh, right, I've got to guess this one first, and then and then I'll show you yours. Right. Oh, that's well, that's got a funny skin, isn't oh, it? Oh, Hannah's got a Oh, what's that? that? Feels all bumpy, doesn't it? Yeah. And it's, it's got orange. It's orange, is it? And what's and what's yeah. and what's orange? Oh, I know what it is. It's orange, isn't it? So it's an orange. Is that an orange? Yes. Yes. Now shall I give you the one that you're going to eat? Okay, right, close your eyes then. Keep your eyes closed. All right, they must keep them closed. All right. Okay. All right, this is a good one. All right, I'll take a bit out of it. Keep your eyes closed. I know what it is. Do you? I will. Do you. Right. It's a don't, big don't say that's green a, thing. It's a big green thing. Right now, keep your eyes closed, and I'll yeah. give you each a and piece. And it's got a red thing inside. It has. Right now, put your hand out. Put your hand out. There. I, I right. know what it is. Don't tell me. Don't tell me yet. I'll give you one to all of you, and you've got to tell me what it is. Okay. Right now, you can oh, have, have a taste. Have a taste. Have a taste. Go I have know a taste. what no, it is. No, have a taste. What does it go? What does it taste like? Go mango. On. No, it's not a mango. No. Watermelon. <laughs> a watermelon, that's right, yes. What do they taste like? They're nice. Do you want another bit? Yeah. Okay, right. Yeah. You can have... Yeah, I'll take the seeds off it. Because uh, yeah. you can't eat the seeds, you see. I'll give that to Candies, they're pips, that's right. They are, your Candies can have that one. Sorry. And Hannah can have this piece. And I'll have the big one all to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Some I'll have this one. I'll have this little one. It's not a lot, is it? It's nice, isn't it? Pictures of this. Pictures of that. I like your pictures, says Peggy Patch. You painted them and coloured them. Even stuck them with glue. I like your pictures, says Peggy. I hope you like doing them too. Brown and furry. Caterpillar in a hurry. Take your walk to a shady leaf or stalk. May no toad spy on you. May the little birds pass by you. Spin and die. To live again, a butterfly. Creature with antennae on its head. A rather furry body who has beautiful fluttering wings and loves the flowers in the summertime. Oh, there's the bus. Come on, Peggy, eat up your watermelon. It's time to catch the bus. Peggy will be out to find another patch to stop and play at next week. So we'll see you there. <laughs>